Mga concepts, bakit nakuha ni Sir Melvin yung 95 niya? Dahil po nag-aral po ako ng mga konseptong hindi inaral ng iba. Kaya napakataas ng ating gen ed. Very good. In prof ed, ito yung tatalakayin natin. In prof ed, you quote the question. Ano ba yung quote laging tinatanong dyan? No? Yung quote natin ay yung context clues. So paano ba gamitin ang context clues sa katanungan related sa board examination? Sample board exam question. Under no circumstance shall a teacher be prejudiced nor discriminatory against any learner according to the code of ethics. When is a teacher prejudiced against any learner? A. When he makes a nearsighted pupil sit at the front. Letter B. When he considers multiple intelligence in the choice of his teaching strategies. When he makes the far-sighted pupil sit at the back, letter D, when he refuses a pupil with a slight physical disability. So, bakit ba inulit ko itong tanong na to? Because this will best suit no, with our technique. Okay? So, sinabi ko, context clues. Ano bang ibig sabihin dyan? Intindihin ang kabuuan ng katanungan. Ano bang kabuuan ang kailangan nyo pong makuha? Ano bang diwa ng katanungan na saan? Diba? Ang sinabi dyan, ang teacher daw, hindi po pwedeng magiging discriminatory against any learner. Ang tanong, when is a teacher prejudice against any learner? Kailan daw nagiging prejudice ang isang guro sa isang learner? So the context there is about a teacher who is prejudice who is discriminatory di ba sa isang learner saan siya papasok again sa diversity of learners no sa PPST na hindi pwedeng i-is in ano i-exclusive ni teacher ang learning para lamang sa mga walang kapansanan di ba so yan na iintindihan natin yung context to common sense will tell that when you refuse a certain pupil With slight physical, kahit napakaliit niyan, or napaka... Wala kang karapatan para i... Ayan, alipustahin siya. Yan, yun yung sinasaad sa context clues. Dapat intindihin ang kabuuan sa tanong para madali mong masagot kung ano yung hinahanap. Tapos, next question. Ang sunod nating uh, technique ay ang tinatawag nating odd one out. Odd one out, di ba? Lagi nyo naririnig yan. No? I-contextualize natin using this question. Which of the following expression display an attitude of mediocrity among teacher? Which of the following expression display an attitude of mediocrity among teacher? A. Talagang ganyan lang. B. Kakayanin natin. C. Pagbutihan natin. D. Walang urungan. Teachers, hindi lahat sa atin talitang mediocrity. Pero using the technique odd one out, look at the choices right away. A, talagang ganyan lang. B, kakayanin natin. C, pagbutihan natin. D, walang urungan. D, what implies? What implies positivity? Implies self-efficacy. Di ba? What about for letter A? That implies novice learners. Yung walang tag dito. Walang gustong mag-improve. Talagang ganyan lang yung kaya ko. Di ba? So kahit ganito yan. Sa add out questions that you do not understand. Bakit? Go to the choices. May ibang choices dyan. May positive na choice dyan kung ang hinahanap, negative. So yung mga positive, tanggalin mo. Yung negative yung isagot mo. The same way, no, kapag naman po negative yung hinahanap, tanggalin mo yung mga positive. Kapag positive hinahanap, tanggalin mo yung negative. Okay? So there, tinanong dyan, Which of the following display an attitude of mediocrity? Negative ang hinahanap. Tanggalin mo yung positive. Kakayanin natin. Positive yan ah. Pagbutihan natin. Talagang ganyan lang. Di ba? Kahit walang question, kaya mo sagutan using the odd one out. Next item. Pahirapan natin ng konti. 
which of the following shows a total physical learning that supports i mean which of the following shows a total physical environment that supports learning Ayan. which of the following shows a total physical environment that supports learning a classrooms with furnitures b tall three-story building c safe and secure building and classroom structure letter d bulletin boards in every building sige nga for this item ano ba ang kailangan nating gamitin clue rito the same it's still odd one out oo let's assume na hindi natin naiintindihan ang tanong kahit naiintindihan naman pero say for example lang no hindi mo masadong naiintindihan na yes. A, classrooms with structure. Well, that's good. B, tall, three-story building. Yes, that's what DepEd is, DepEd is doing. D, bulletin boards in every building. Oo, and daming bulletin boards, di ba? So, those are two. But the question there, sino yung naiiba sa kanila? Sino yung pinakatama sa kanila? C, safe and secure building and classroom structures. O, tingnan mo. Letter A, my classroom. Si C, my classroom. Building si B, may building din si C. Letter D, may building din si letter D, may building din si letter C. That means letter C sums up all the contents of A, B, and D. That means adding one out, it will still guide you. Kahit walang katanungan, alam mo na ang sagot, letter C. Why? It adds up all the choices. <laughs> Correct? So again, mas madaling maintindihan ang tanong kapag gumamit ng testmanship at kapag ka alam mo na kung paano siya gamitin effectively, anong tanong man yan, mahirap man o madali, nakakasagot ka dahil master ka sa yung pinag-aralang uh, strategy o technique sa pag-atake ng kahit anong katanungan. Okay? So, pahirapan pa natin. Let's go. Anticipate correct answers. Ito yung nagbibigay ka ng intelligent guess, educated guess, or hypothesis sa isang katanungan na wala pang choices. Di ba? So, example. What is the evidence of learning? Very good. Change of behavior. Hanapin mo sa choices. Change of behavior. Nandun, shade mo agad. A learning, gaining five pounds in weight. Ano kaya yun? Very good. Growth. Kasi kapag descriptions lang, development. Kapag internal ripening or aging, that's maturation. Kapag naman po, uh, ano yung isa? Very good. Learning. Uh, uh, pag may pagtuturong na gaganap at may natutunan ang bata, learning yan. Now, kapag naman po sinabi natin, what is wrong with an item that follow a positively skewed? Again, what is wrong with the item that follows a positively skewed? I very good, no? That is, the item is very easy? No, it's very difficult, no? The item is difficult. No, it's not very easy. Oy, kayo, ha? So again, class, when you make use of anticipation of correct answers, be sure na master mo ang topic. Kasi huwag kang mag-anticipate ng hindi mo master ang topic ba dahil dahil nagkakamali ka, hahanapin mo dun sa choices, mali na agad yung sagot mo. The item, no, positively skewed eh. So ibig sabihin, mabababa ang score. Ibig sabihin, the test were difficult. Mahirap, okay? Malinaw po yun. Kasi kapag the counterpart of it, the negatively skewed, the tests are easy. Uh -huh. So kapag sinasabi natin positively skewed, saan nakakongregate yung scores? Sa left. Kapag negatively skewed, saan nakakongregate ang score? Sa right. Those are questions that you know, but you have to be very careful kasi napagpapalit-palit nyo po sila. Ayos? Oh, very good. Teacher Crisel. Yes, sir. Sinoktan ko na ang sarili ko. Huwag mo pong lakasan, ma'am, ha? Oh. Okay? Hinaan nyo lang po dahil marami pa pong item ang lalabas. Next item. Pag sinasabi naman natin, an expert learner's process blank information. An expert learner process blank information.
Mm-hmm. Oh, very good, na? Yan, nakakasagot naman pala ang taong bayan. Important information. Kapag naman po novice, that's all the information. Kapag naman po substance over forma, that's expert learner. Kapag naman po forma over substance, that's Novice learner. What happens to a school na napakaraming cheche, borache, design, jan, design, dito? What is wrong? Our fondness of forma over substance. Again, forma over substance yan. Yung napakaraming burluloy sa school. Diba? Kadalasan ginagawa yan sa DepEd kapag may inspection. So that is forma over substance. Okay? What about for the teacher insists his authority over the students again and again? What teacher power is shown? Again, the teacher insists his authority over the students again and again. What teacher? Uh, that's very good, coercive. Kasi kapag kaloko parentes, ay very good. That's legitimate. Kapag naman po, I know what I'm talking about. That's an expert. Very good. What about for Malaga ang grado nyo? Huwag nyo pong ibagsak ang mga kursong to. Ano yan? Reward power. Okay? Kapag naman po, class. Anong mga rule ang gusto nyo i-follow natin sa loob ng ating klase? That is referent power. Kapag walang referent power sa board, you find democratic power. And still po, you are seeing, no? The, the way how we answered is based on anticipation. You just give the clue because you have mastered the concept and you just have to find it on the choices. Shade na agad. Okay? Plus, what is the importance of anticipation? The importance of anticipation is you're not anymore wasting your time reading all the choices. Kasi alam mo na siya. Diba? So that means when you know the concept being asked, you just immediately go to the correct answer. And by that, you are saving your time for the difficult items. Again, you are saving your time with the dif for the difficult items. By which, more energy is conserved. And when there is more energy, there are more chances of answering difficult questions. That's why it's very important to, to, to what? To master anticipations. How? You just repeat and repeat the drill until such time that you'll be able to not think uh, uh, of the things that you are to say. Diba? Meron ganun eh. Kapag masyado nang master ang topic, masyado nang master yung concept, hindi mo na kailangan pang mag-isip. Kusang lalabas na lang yan, di ba? Tulad sa pinapadrill ko, sinabi ko, what is the evidence of learning? Sinabi mo, change of behavior. May iisip ka ba? Hindi. That's mastery. A learner gaining five pounds, nag-iisip ka pa ba dyan? Growth yan, di ba? Kapag naman po, positively skewed, o oh, nagkamali ka dyan, saktan mo yung sarili mo, positively skewed, skewed to the right, and then congregated to the left. And then what about for negatively skewed, skewed to the left, congregated to the right. Matataas ang scores, tests are easy, that's negatively skewed. Ganun lang po yan. An expert learner's process on, nasagot mo yan, important information. The teacher insists his authority, nasagot mo yan, coercive. That means you're saving your time for the next item. You're saving your time for the more difficult item. Teachers, what I am teaching you now is the testmanship. Dahil kapag merong mga katanungan na wala sa mundong to, di mo na aral, at least you have this what, technique of testmanship that you can hold on to. Na okay, kahit hindi kita na aral, meron akong technique kung paano ka sagutin. And it is context clues, add one out, anticipation of correct answers, and eto na yung pinakamatindi. Chadan, the best clue is on the STEM. Ang board exam, ang BTT po, hindi sila gumagawa ng tanong na ang clue wala doon sa tanong. So what are those questions here? Which goal of educational institution as provided by the Constitution is the development of work skills aligned? Work skills aligned. You underline the word skills. What is synonymous to the word skills? A. Moral character, mm -hmm. B, vocational efficiency, 
Letter C, duties of citizenship. Letter D, love of country. Letter D, nationalism yan. Now, letter A, axiology yan. Letter C, duties of citizenship. That's civic duties yan. Letter B, skills, vocationals, technicals, TESDA. 7796. You only need one letter. I mean, you only need one word to know the correct answer. In uh, getting the best clue, you just have to find the synonymous words from that question to that choices. In this question, what is very related to skills? It's the vocational efficiency. It's the vocational efficiency. Did you get me? Another, which goal? Tama tayo dyan. Marking on a normative basis means that marking on a normative basis means that A, a normal distribution curve should be followed. B, some should fall. Letter C, some get high marks. Letter D, the grading is based on a present criteria. Clue word is on the stem. The best clue is on the stem. Always remember that. Napakarami nyo na pong bala. So kapag magamit nyo po ang quote ng napaka-epektibo, kabahan sila sa'yo. Yes, and I am sure of that. Kabahan sila sa'yo kapag nagamit mo ang quote ng uh, uh, masinsinat effectively, efficiently. Ha? So always follow Matandaan nyo po yung strategy ninyo sa pagsasagot. Always remember this. Do not fear a man who has mastered uh, thousand kicks in one instance. Fear those people who has mastered a single kick in, uh, I mean, in a thousand times. That's what I am pointing out, that you need to master the strategy that you will use for this board exam. And I suggest if you don't have one, master this code method because this is time-tested for the past four batch. Manina ninyo. Tandaan nyo yan. Okay? So the correct answer for this one, underline the word normative. That is normal distribution. Mag-iisip ka pa ba dyan? Yes, I will upload this one for the sake of those who want to see this uh, again. Kasi po, Sinasabi ko sa inyo yung techniques rito. I am not talking more about the question. I am talking more about how to attack questions. Basically, the code uh, method that I am always teaching you. Okay? Next. Which of the following exemplifies differentiated instruction directed as heterogeneous groups in a class? Again, the best clue is on the stem still. Ayun. Letter A, different tasks appropriate for each group. Letter B, divide class, some same tasks. Letter C, three different teachers to assess groups. Letter D, same tasks for all groups. Anong hinahanap? Underline the word differentiated. Underline the word heterogeneous. May dalawang crew. crew. May dalawang clue ka na dyan. Pipiliin mo pa ba yung may salitang same? No, because it does not require you, what? Exemption. Diba? Hindi naman sinasabi dyan na most of the following are differentiated. Exempt. That means you answer D. So dahil differentiated, it must be different. Three. Also, sino ang may different? Letter A and C. Wait. Three different teachers to assess groups, teachers in doing instruction. You need not a lot of teachers. You only need one teacher with a lot of opportunities. I mean, no, no, no. You only need one teacher with a lot of strategies. ko. You do not need a lot of teachers. You just need one teacher with thousands of strategies. Ayos. So letter C is bukya. Letter A ang sagot. Different tasks appropriate for each group. Bakit nasagot natin? Because of the word differentiated, heterogeneous, 
magkaiba, marami, peculiar, diversity, uniqueness, multiple intelligences, varied. Mm -hmm. Yun yun, di ba? So letter A, next. What factor is given the most importance by teacher Nikki, the top three, who is teaching in a school for children in a poverty-stricken slum area? Oh ha! Si teacher Nikki daw, anong binigyan niya ng kahalagahan na nagtuturo siya sa napakahirap at napakalayong mga lugar sa bansa? So the clue word there is under uh, poverty. You just underline the word poverty. You can also underline the word slum. Those are just words. Di ba? Ang napakahaba ng to know. You just have one word there that will guide you to the correct answer. Poverty. Beliefs. Ethnicity. Race. No. It's socioeconomic status. Okay? Socioeconomic status. How did you find that answer? Because of the word poverty. Again, train yourself to look for clue words. Find its synonym to the choices. Yes, or in the choices. Teachers, I hope so that you guys are trying to configure things out on how to attack questions that you do not know. Do not immediately complain. Teachers, do not immediately complain. Just stick to this method. If you have your method, just go on with it. Okay? Do not complain. That's the very thing that you are uh, directed to. Because when you start complaining that you do not know the question, hindi mo na review to, patay, bagsak na ako rito. You are just foretelling what will be the result on December 6. Nababagsak ka. Pag mahirap ang tanong, magpapatap yan. Again, ano yung sabi ni Sir Melvin? Pag mahirap ang tanong, magpapatap yan. Very good. Next item. What is meant by action research following a cyclical process? What is meant by action research following a cyclical process? Plus, the clue word there is cyclical. Um, I want somebody you know, to argue with me and verify because I am answering this differently. Okay? I am answering this differently because I know for sure that you guys are answering letter D. But based on uh, my thorough reading and I... I am 70% sure about my answer. So the 30% is more likely uh, oh, letter D and Melvin because there is uh, the word, I mean, there is a word resolving. No? So, ibig sabihin na problema. Pero hindi po yun ang tinutukoy ng cyclical process. Eh. Pag sinasabi kasi nating action research is a cyclical process, ang nabasa ko, nabasa ko talaga word for word, na yun daw ay isang proseso na, hang, na, na matapos mong ma, uh, abot ang, pro, ang, ang, ang solusyon sa isang problema, may iba na namang problema ang makikita. Ulitin ko. Ang action research daw is a cyclical process means that when you do action research addressing a certain problem, when you are able to find a solution to that problem, another problem arises. Okay? So again, always ver verify this because that's how I uh, studied no? this concept. Uh, inaral ko ang, ang concept ng to and I arrive in this answer. And I hope that you guys are um, uh, researching about also this one. Do not just depend on somebody na natuturuan ka kung, kung anong tamang sagot dyan. Research on your own. That's what I do when I took the board exam. I don't rely much on those people who are teaching because they're also basing it on their understanding. And the best way to address uh, disputes is to read it on your own. Maghanap ka ng sarili mong um, resources. Maghanap ka ng sarili mong um, uh, what? Uh, pagbabasihan, di ba? Basis. Para at least yung pagsasagot mo sa board exam ay galing talaga sa'yo, hindi galing sa iba. Okay? I'm just giving you the idea of reading. Read, 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 and more. Read, no? 
Letter A is the correct answer. Problems occur again and again like a cycle, na? So that's why it's called cyclical process. Ayos? So next item. Ilinawin natin yung mga confusion ninyo, no? Um, ano yung double taxation? Ano yung double jeopardy? Ano yung, ano pa yun? Ano yung social inequality? Ano yung social injustice? Ano yung uh, highest paid for, uh, highest paid teachers? Diba? Ano yung, ano pa yung uh, tinatanong ninyo? Marami yun eh. So, uh, lilinawin ko yan later ha, pagkatapos po ng tag dito, pagkatapos ng aking pagpapaliwanag sa contextualization of the quote method. Ano? So, letter A is the correct answer for this one. The clue word there is cyclical. Next. According to Maslow, what satisfaction is reached as the final result of psychological harmony with reality? Again, according to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, what satisfaction is reached as the final result of psychological harmony with reality? A, self-esteem, B, ego actualization, C, T, D, belongingness. So pag sinasabi nating Maslow, ang kilala natin agad diyan yung physiological needs, yung safety and security, yung love and belongingness, yung self-esteem at yung self-actualization. The counterpart of this one is the hierarchy of values according to Max Scheler. Apat 'yon, yung pleasure values, yung mga wants mo sa buhay, yung mga kalandian mo sa buhay. Ang vital naman po yung wellness natin, yung wellness ang ang spiritual values naman po yung nasa paligid mo yung norms yung culture yung beliefs di ba pag sinasabi naman natin na values of the holy again those are the saints that we put in church kada now uh, going back to the question which is which no ano yung tama sagot diyan the correct answer is ego actualization okay ego actualization in drill nga natin pag sinasabi nating foods basic needs Pag walang basic needs, physiological needs. Kapag walang physiological needs, socialization. And then, saving sa bangko, bahay at lupa, that's safety and security. Maghanap ka ng partner, that's love and belongingness. Diba? And then, what else? Um, uh, nagiging confident ka that you can provide for your family, that's self-esteem. And another is, when you're... Uh, satisfied with what you have, which is very impossible. No? Sabi ni Maslow, ang pinakamahirap na makuha ay yung ego actualization. Because we are human beings and we are creatures of wants. Alam niyo yan? We are creatures of wants. We're never contented. Di ba ikaw nga? Alam kong handang-handa ka na for your board examination. Pero what is um, reality now is may pagdududa ka pa rin. Class, if you were able to answer my drills, never doubt yourself anymore. Kahit hindi lalabas yung mga pinapadrill ko sa inyo, you will still be able to answer the board exam dahil napaka-master mo na po sa mga konsepto. Trust yourself. Ego actualization. Let's go to the next item. Tips in answering. So again, ano yung una? Context clues. Ano yung pangalawa? Odd one. Ah, the mga tlo. Anticipation of correct answers. Ano yung bang apat? The best clue is on the stem. Now, punta naman tayo sa mga na-observe ni Sir Melvin sa mga question sa board exam. Sa time ko, sa last four batches, uh, i-integrate ko yung kabuuan sa mga na-observe ko sa kanilang uh, laging tinatanong. Una po, let questions also include concepts that needs memorization. Hindi pala lahat kailangan intindihan lang sa prof ed. Meron pa lang na memorize mo dapat. O, example. Yes, I will upload this one. I'm a plateau, learning plateau, wala nang pumapasok. Well, imaginein mo na lang, on December 6, wala yung pangalan mo paglabas ng board examination results. Sasabihin ng kapatid mo, baby. Ate, lumabas na yung result. Wala yung pangalan mo. Ayan, learning plateau pa rin ba? Ay, very good, no? Nagiging Mount Mayon na, di ba? Very good. Oh, so what is it? 
The student shows good performance because of her awareness that she was observed by her teacher. What psychological effect is shown? A. Hawthorne. B. Rosenthal. Uh, C. Pygmalion. Letter D. Golem. O iba't iba yung mga sagot ninyo. So again, Kapag hindi mo na-memorize ang concept na to, magkakamali ka. So let me explain. Pag sinasabi natin golem, mababa yung expectation mo sa bata. Okay? Kaya mababa din yung performance niya. Again, mababa expectation, mababa ang performance. That's golem. Kapag naman po pigmal yun, that is the same with rosental. Parehas lang po sila. Rosental or Pygmalion. Pag sinasabi natin Rosental or, or Pygmalion, ang ibig sabihin dyan, mataas yung expectation mo sa bata, kaya mataas din yung kanyang performance. Maganda ang expectation, maganda ang performance. That's the complete opposite of Golem. What about for Hawthorne? Ang bata dyan, aware na si teacher nag-hover sa kanya kaya siya ay nag-perform better, di ba? Alam niyang inoobserbahan siya ni teacher, kaya gagalingan niya at yung mga batang teacher, 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 teacher. Tanawa ako mo, teacher, 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 teacher. Di ba? Murag mga buyog, na no? That is for who torn. Ang uh, ripple effect naman po, yung escalating effect. Kilala niyo naman po yung mga teacher na pinapagalita ng isang estudyante, tapos nasali ka, wala ka namang ginawang mali. That's escalating effect. Kapag naman po general impression, that is halo. Uh, halo, di ba? Very good. So that is Hawthorne. So, eto yung mga konsepto na dapat mong i-memorize. No, another, kapag naglalaro na mag-isa ang bata, ano ang tawag dyan? Solitaire. Very good. Kapag naman po ang bata may kalaro, hmm, that's associative play. Kapag naman po ang bata naglalaro sa isang gilid, tapos may isang bata na naglalaro sa kabilang gilid, parallel. Kapag naman po ang bata naglalaro, tapos may isa pang bata na nanonood, Unlooker. Very good. Diba? So again, nanonood lang ang isang bata. Unlooker. Kapag man po other side sila naglalaro. Parallel. Kapag naman po silang dalawa naglalaro. Associative. Kapag naman po isa lang siyang naglalaro. Solitaire. Very good. Kapag naman po mababa, mababa. Golem. Kapag naman po mataas, mataas. Pigmalion or Rosenthal. Kapag alam ng batang inobserve mo siya, Hawthorne, kapag ikaw lang yung isang pinagulitan tapos nag-escalate sa lahat, that's very good. That's, ano yun? Um, oh, di ba nag-loading? <laughs> Ripple effect yun, no? Kapag naman po general impression, that is for um, halo effect, no? So what about this question? Ito yung dapat mong ma-memorize din. RA10157, anong batas to? Kindergarten. Very father of kindergarten. Frobel. Very good. Saan ang galing yung kindergarten? Germany. Very good. Okay. Mother tongue shall be the primary medium of instruction in kindergarten. Which are exemptions? A. I mean, one. When the teacher does not speak the mother tongue of the learners. Two. When the K pupils speak different mother tongues. Let number three, when resources in the mother tongue are not available. Number four, when teachers are not yet trained. Oh. Ano daw ang exceptions na ang isang guru hindi pwede magturo ng MTB? Okay, kinorek ko to last time, no? So the correct answer is... One, two, three, and four. Bakit ba, sir? When the teacher does not speak the mother tongue of the learners, o pag tuturuin mo ba siya, hindi niya alam yung mother tongue ng isang learner? Wow! That's an exception. Number two. When the K pupils speak different mother tongue, o ang kindergarten daw na tinuturuan mo, iba yung mother tongue sa kanilang kinagisnan. Tuturuan mo ba sila ng mother tongue dahil lang required sila? No. Number three, when resources in uh, mother tongue are not available, or what are you going to use as resources, as reference? Wala. When teachers are not yet trained, if you're not trained, do not teach. Dahil mapapariwaraan taong bayan kapag gagawin mo yan. Okay? Hindi po malabo yan yung uh, uh, 1080 resolution ang piliin nyo. 
Okay? So, ganito yan. Meron na akong sasabihin. Uh, ganito yan. Kapag hindi mo talaga naiintindihan yung tanong, kahit anong basa mo, wala talagang naiintindihan. Tapos sa choices, merong all of the above. One, two, three, and four. Sa yung isagot mo. Uulitin ko. Kapag hindi mo naiintindihan ang tanong, walang wala talaga. Saan ba ito kinuha? Pero may A, B, C, and D, all of the above, siya yung isagot mo. Never answer, no answer. Never answer, no answer. Okay? Ayos? Nasulat mo yon Very good. Next item. Ito, another common subword exam. Let also includes practical questions nakaka-advantage yung nagtuturo sa private school ngayon dahil alam nila kung ano yung gagawin. Example question. Teacher Sita, an experienced teacher, does daily review of past lessons in order to blank. Practical masyado yan. Kapag nagtuturo ka, alam mo kung bakit nagre-review ka. Is it because you want to determine who among her pupils are studying? Ganun ba talaga yung purpose mo? Bakit ka nag-review? Hindi. Yung review, tapos mo nang ginawa yan, kaya nire-review mo lang. So assuming na ang bata dyan, alam na yan dahil na-discuss mo na yan kahapon. B, introduce a new lesson. Hmm, di naman sinasabi dyan eh. Reflect on how she presented the previous lesson. Aba, kung mag-reflection ka rin lang naman, Gawin mo sa sarili mo. Huwag sa ibang tao. Diba? Introspection should be done as learning. Letter A. Provide her pupils with a sense of continuity. Oh, ha. Yun yung tinatawag kong practical. Pragmatism. Diba? Ito yung experiential based learning. Madaling makakasagot yung mga nagtuturo na sa private school. Ito. Another. Let also includes uh, tests. Uh, that will test your understanding on specific concepts. Again, let also test your understanding. Adolescents, middle age, sila yung tinatanong lagi sa board. Atin-atin lang yan. Okay? Again, babyhood, middle childhood, adolescents, and then middle age. Sila yung laging tinatanong. Okay. Parents pushing into uh, follow, of, I mean, parents pushing in to follow a specific path. Yung mga parents na yung, uh, magde-decide para sa mga anak nila. B, relating to people. Interpersonal skills. Letter C, decision to follow one path only. Mm -hmm. Meron bang ganun sa adolescents? It's the discovery of different roles, teachers. It's the discovery of different roles. Kapag meron silang ayaw para sa mga adolescents, it's the freedom from parents. No, they want freedom because they want what? They want uh, to learn their different roles and to know so and to do that of course, the first-hand experiences that they could always uh, run to is the experiences of their parents, right? So they don't want emancipation from parents. They want the help of their parents to explore different roles in society. Hindi naman po autonomy, di ba? Ang tinag-uusapan dyan. That's adolescence, no? To deal with their self-crisis, they have to, what? Uh, explore, no? Who are they? What, uh, what, what are they here for? Why are they alive? Their existence, what's the meaning of it? That's uh, um, adolescence, no? Is all about it. So, that's it. D, very good, no? So, again, those concepts that you need to master. Ito pa! Let will most of the time turn you between two best answers. Okay? Let, again, the board exam now will uh, most of the time turn you between two best answers. Parang turn between two lovers, di ba? Eto, para ka rin ditong lover, no? Kasi po, uh, pagpipiliin ka sa dalawang, ayan, ma mahal mo o mahal ka. 
Eh, oh, mahal mo, mahal ka. Tama ba? So, ganito yan, no? Example question dyan. What does evidence-based practice imply? What does evidence-based practice imply? A. Base your intended research on a list of brilliant past researches for best results of your research findings. B. Research is a criterion for teacher promotion. C. Instructional practice must be supported by rigorous research findings. D. Teachers are engaged in research. Wow! <laughs> Meron mga nagkakamali. Very good. Dalatag para si Tabol Adidaan. No. Just master the code. And you need no paracetamol. <laughs> I'm not promoting paracetamol. No, no, no. Okay. So again, uh, the board exam will turn you between two best choices. And the two best choices here is obviously not B and not D. So we say which is which? Marami sumagot ng A, marami sumagot ng C. The correct answer for this one is none other than, oh, pag sinasabi natin evidence-based practice, that implies, I mean, that implies to instruction. Okay, sa pagtuturo daw, dapat ang iyong mga itinuturo ay suportado ng rigorous, meaning, uh, uh, ang tawag dyan, napaka-exhausting no, na research findings. Para mas magiging accurate. That's letter C. Yung mga sumagot ng letter A, pakisaktan nyo yung sarili. Ayan, you are turned to between uh, best answers. And uh, that cannot be avoided sa board exam. So kapag merong mga ganang katanungan sa board exam, huwag ka nang manibago dahil sinabi ko na yan sa'yo. Okay? Another. Let will confuse you in most questions. Let will confuse you in most questions. Ito yung experience ninyo sa kasalukuyan. Ang dami yung um, tawag dito. Ang dami yung uh, tanong na hindi masagot at iba't iba ang sagot kahit sino yung pinagtatanungan ninyo. Di ba? Ito yung mga katanungan na ligwak ang inyong mga utak. Okay? Pero teachers, uh, that's the beauty of board examinations. Di ba? Uh, hindi lahat ng bagay kaya sagutin ng taong gusto mong uh, pag uh, kuna ng informasyon no kasi tao lang din po kami not perfect di ba kapag ikaw naman po ang top one ikaw naman po ang pagtatanungan and for sure you have asked a lot of questions to somebody na hindi nasagot baka ikaw yung makakasagot so what i mean here is kapag na, na confuse ka mag-research ka di ba Huwag iasa lahat sa mga tao na kapaligid sa iyo. Well, tulad mo rin lang 'yan, nag-aaral din 'yan. Okay? So let will confuse you in most questions. Example. How is the by semester grade per subject for grade 1 to 10 computed? How is the by semester grade per subject for grades 1 to 10 computed? Blue. Thank you so much, Pasa, to 125 pesos, Ma'am Nancy Miguel San Jose. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, Ma'am, and thank you so much also for your, for, for your support. Okay. So what's your answer for this item class? Oh, diba? Let well confuse you my a my b my c my d what ano yung pang top notcher na katanungan this is according to that ad order number 8 series of 2015 ini ba lang medyo ini ba lang yung katanungan di ba or ayan so gusto ko pang magkamali kayo comment okay let will confuse you and uh, the manifestation now is on the chat box. And dami nyo nagkakamali. Ayan, you're just doing guessing games. Okay. Oh, my letter D, my letter A, my letter C, my letter B. Okay. Kuha muna ako ng tubig. Sige, magkamali kayo dyan. 
I'll be back. Oh, sige, let's talk about getting the grades. What about for kindergarten? Checklist and portfolio. What about for grades 1 to 10? Mm-hmm. Secret. What about for... Okay, what about for grades 11 and 12? Two quarters will determine the final grade in a semester. Again, two quarters will determine the final grade in a semester. Okay? Uh, uh, what about for college? Ay, pwede kang ibagsa kahit... Uh, <laughs> Gusto uh, anong ibigay sa'yo ng professor. Now, grades 1 to 10. Ito na. Kasi wala ito sa DepEd order. Number 8 series of 2015. Meron to, pero iniba nila. Okay? Meron to, pero iniba. So now, how do you understand the word by semester or by mes? Ang, ang magkaiba po ang by semester at by mester. Pag sinasabi natin by mester, that's two months. Okay? Pag sinasabi naman natin by semester, that's two semesters. Nasabi ko na yung sagot. Ayan, pag sinasabi natin by semester, that's two semesters. One semester has two quarters. And two semesters has four quarters. And four quarters constitutes the whole year. Very good! Ayan, thank you so much. Very good. Ang nakakasagot pa ang taong bayan. Palakpak ka ng sarili at humiyaw ka dyan. Nakatama ka pang top natural utak mo. Very good! Uh, ayan, kinilig ang taong bayan. Sabi niyo, magkakatutuo sa ano yung sinabi mo, sir. Ayan, thank you so much po sa pa papaklap pa, clap na dalawang uh, magkaibang kulay na kamay. Renato Jr. Habiga, thank you so much po sa so 125 pesos. O, di ba? O, sinong ligwak? <laughs> ligwak, ayan, buswak. O, paksit. Ayan. Hi, sir. <laughs> Ashana, Ezra Vlog. Hi, Mama Ashana. Okay, ligwak ang karamihan, ang lakas pa ng tawa. Oh, di ba? <laughs> oh, hmm, may padab pa ang iba. <laughs> ang cute ninyo, class, no? So, ang gagaling ng iba. Well, uh, the, the mere reason why you are here because... Uh, you want to learn and learn and relearn. So perhaps those who committed mistakes um, are learning. And for those who are not committing the mistake are what? Cementing their self-confidence. Alam nyo yun? Kapag ka perfect ka dyan, hindi ibig sabihin wala kang natututunan dyan. Ang ibig sabihin dyan, you are gaining confidence of your knowledge. For those who got it, um, incorrectly, you are at the process of what? Getting that confidence pa po. No? Very tricky kasi magbigay ang board exam. Pwede niya namang sabihin dyan eh. How do you get the grade per subject for grades 1 to 10? Pwede niya sabihin ganyan. Pero ginawa pa niyang by semester. By dalawang semester. So, two semesters constitutes the whole year. So that's letter B. 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 Ah. Very good. <laughs> that's letter B. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Mm, that's very sad. But, you know, uh, you're here for a reason. And the reason might be learning these things. Because, uh, my guess, no? Uh, bago to sa inyo. Diba? So, sabi na, by means two. Yes, by. Dalawang semester. By 
semester. So, dalawang semester. So, that is one year. So, the correct answer is letter B, by grade average the whole year. Okay. So far, maopan ni ako mali. Okay. Sige. Next. Remember in all let questions, ito yung sabi ni Sir Melvin lagi, no? Hi, Ma'am Heidi Dikal. Thank you so much po sa 75 pesos. Remember in all let questions, when there is diversity, there should be variety. What are the synonymous words for diversity? Differentiated. Varied. Heterogeneous. Uniqueness, peculiarity. Ano ba? O, oh, ikaw mag-isip dyan. Again, when there is diversity, there should be variety on the choices. Examples of words, yeah. What is the appropriate teaching, learning strategy to respond to cultural diversity? What is the appropriate teaching, learning strategy to respond to cultural diversity? A, use of comparative assessments. B, variety of assessment and methods. C, homogeneous grouping. D, common core. Diversity, so that means there's no common core. What do you mean by common core? You teach one strategy and that is good for everybody. That means that you are giving one size and you're expecting it to fit to all students. One size fits all. No, no, no. Diversity is not like that. Letter D is wrong. Common core means homogeneous. That's wrong. Letter A, use of comparative assignment assessments. Comparative. Mm -hmm. Dalawa lang. Hindi po pa. Diversity, two or more, pero mas maganda kapag variety. Bakit? Ito yung sabi ko. When there is diversity, everybody say, when there is diversity, there should be variety. Very good. Next. Kapag may action research, siya tanong, hanapin sa choices ang salitang problems or issues. Again, kapag may action research, siya tanong, hanapin sa choices ang salitang problems or issues. Sir Melvin, may halimbawa ka ba dyan? O ayan no, what is the main objective of action research in, in instruction and school management? What is the main objective of action research in instruction and school management? A. It aims at strengthening authority and principles. B. It seeks to resolve instructions and uh, school problems. C. It aims to increase work of teachers. D. It seeks to what? Make students loyal to the school. Okay. Merong salitang action research. Ano nga hanapin again? Problems. Meron bang problem si letter D? Wala. Meron bang problem si letter C? Wala. Meron bang problem si letter A? Wala rin. That's letter B. It seeks to solve instructional and problems of the school. That's how important techniques are, teachers. You cannot do it on your own. You need techniques. Okay? If you find my techniques effective, use it. If, if you find others' techniques effective, use them. It's, it's for your own sake, okay? Dahil yung mga naaral mo, hindi lalabas yan, I know for sure. Sasabihin ko na lang sa'yo para hindi ka ma-frustrate. Pero ang techniques na itinuturo ko sa inyo ang mag-save sa inyo sa board exam na to. Again, ang techniques na, na itinuturo ko sa inyo ang mag-save sa inyong prof ed. The techniques that I taught you will save your professional education. So at least alam mo na walang lalabas dyan sa mga pinag-aaralan mo. ba? Buti na yung malinaw. Okay? Isa kang idealist. Mabait at hindi after sa salary na guro. Sir, so ibig sabihin yung last na tanong na na si teacher daw um, uh, nagreklamo dahil ang kanyang pagtuturo ay naapiktuhan na dahil sa napakaraming responsibilidad outside teaching. Teachers, not at the cost po na halos ibibigay mo na lang yung serbisyo mo. ba? Nagtatrabaho ka and that's a source of living. 
Okay? So, ano bang ibig kong sabihin doon? Does teachers need to be preoccupied? The answer is no. You should not um you you should not uh, act as if you are so preoccupied with your teaching, but the teaching time should not be affected with, with so much activities outside uh, the school. No, yung additional compensation in the Magna Carta for professional teacher is very important. Please remember that. When you are asked to do non-teaching uh, duties, you are what entitled to 25% additional uh, compensation of your monthly salary. Teachers, ha? Hindi po pwede na uh, porket mabait ka. No, mabait ka rin naman doon. Nasa batas yun eh. Kapag wala sa batas yun, sinabi lang nila na magiging voluntary, uh, magiging... Uh, uh, charity yung mga gawa mo, we will follow. But there is Magna Carta for public school teachers, Republic Act 4670. So perhaps where or who should we follow? I think the, the law no prescribes us that we are entitled of additional compensations. And it is indicated in the, in the choices. So we choose what's best uh, uh, for our well-being. Okay? So that's why Sir Melvin chose that yes, kapag merong karagdagang uh, gawain, justice demands that you have to be paid just compensation because that's what the Magna Carta for public school teachers uh, stated. Ayos? Given na hindi ka naman dun, hindi, hindi naman ibig sabihin dun, hindi ka na mabait. Okay? Hindi naman po ibig sabihin dun na hindi ka na mabait. Dahil nasa batas naman po talaga yun na kailangan mong makuha. And that is injustice kapag hindi ka bibigyan nun. Okay? O, di ba? Nag-aali, nag anong tawag dito? Uh, uh, may aso nang lumabas sa ilong ni Sir Dominic Tagiam. Thank you so much po sa super sticker niyo pong 49 pesos. Okay, I hope that you guys are getting my point. No? Now, isa kang idealist. Here is it. Which of the following best supports professionalization among teachers? Which of the following best supports professionalization among teachers? I mean, professionalism. A, integrity of top education officials. B, provision of adequate financial support for schools. C, directions laid down by schools, principals, and supervisors. D, policies responsive to the teacher's professional competencies. Okay, eto yung sabi ko, hindi ka after sa salary. Dahil ang ginawa dyan, financial support. O, o iba yung suporta sa compensation mo talaga. Teachers, listen to me. Iba yung suporta, yung aid, okay, dun sa karapat dapat na para sa'yo. Yung additional works doon sa school, you are entitled to 24% of your overtime pay or additional compensation because you are tasked to do things outside of the teaching time. Ayo, malinaw, na? So now, uh, uh, what's the correct answer here? Eh, dito lalabas itong sinabi ko na hindi ka after sa pera. Okay? Or hindi ka after sa um, mga bagay related to material things. Kasi naman po, yung financial support na yan, uh, hindi naman po siya included sa additional compensations. And then, kapag sinasabi teachers, which of the following competencies or uh, qualification of a teacher is least important? Yung salary niya. Okay? Least important. Pero importante pa rin siya. Least lang. Malinaw yun? Very good. The correct answer is letter D. Policies responsive. Letter D. Mabait kang guro. Very good. Next. Which is most recent and comprehensive among norms of professional standards for Philippine teachers? Ano daw ang pinaka-recent at komprehensibo na basihan ng isang guru? <laughs> letter B. Uh, no, 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 letter C. Philippine professional standards for teachers. Okay, standards for teachers. Next. 
to effectively attack let questions, master the PPST. Ganito yan. Isa po sa pinaka-epektibo nyo pong paraan para atakihin ang board exam is ang Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers. Nakapaloob po lahat ng board exam questions dyan. Okay? Content, knowledge, and pedagogy. Ito yung tanong. Which of the following shows the teacher's respect for human dignity? Which of the following shows the teacher's respect for human dignity? A, joining professional associations. B, using social media. C, working with people of different views. D, practicing diligence and industry. Again, um, I am showing you here no, the nature of board exams. Paano ka pahihirapan? So at least sinabi ko na sa inyo, hindi na bago sa inyo pagdating ng October 2. Ha? Okay, so what's this? Again, anong uh, sinabi ko? Master the PPST. So this is about the content, the knowledge, and pedagogy. Your knowledge, okay, about respect for human dignity, and to do so, and, and, and to do so, you have to work with people of different views, right? You have to work with people of different views because that's where your respect. Hanggang saan ba talaga aabot yung respeto mo sa pagkakaiba iba nating mga guru at mga Pilipino, di ba? That's letter C. Okay, are you answering letter A, joining professional associations? So that means yung mga professional yung, yung mga tao lang na may degree talaga yung uh, bibigyan mo ng respeto? Or would it be uh, everyone around you? Yes, that's everyone, no? Letter C. Teachers respect for human dignity, whoever and uh, whatever you have accomplished, you are a human being that needs to be respected. Yeah, right? Next. What about for this question? What are the characteristics of a good classroom layout structure? What are the characteristics of a good classroom layout structure? A, it is made of concrete, not wood material. B, it is uh, it ensures a clean and safety secure environment. C, it fits the aesthetic taste of principal. D, it accommodates desk and chairs. Again, this is a question of Learner's environment. Kanina, content, the knowledge, and the pedagogy. Ngayon, it is for the learner's environment. Which is which? Again, in answering board exam, master the PPST. You study the strands of PPST. Study the strands of PPST. Okay? So now, the correct answer, basahin muna natin ang ibang maling sagot. Sige. Made of concrete, not wood material. That's good classroom. Letter C, it fits aesthetic taste of the principal. That's not part of it, no? Learner dapat ang iniisip natin. Letter D, it accommodates desk and chairs. That's good. Letter B, it ensures clean, safe, safe, secure environment. That's letter B, obvious naman po. Diba? Learner, safety, and security. Uh, thank you, Ma'am Jessica Zorila, sa yung 50 pesos. Mabuhay po kayo, Ma'am Jess. Thank you so much. Letter B is the correct answer. Diversity of learners question, domain number three. Which of the following will most likely help students internalize classroom rules? <laughs> Again, which of the following will, will most likely help students internalize classroom rules? I, this is still learner's environment. Sorry. This is still learner's environment. Uh, now let's look at the choices. Teacher explaining the rules to the students to follow. B, student participation in setting rules. C, students follow teacher's rules. Uh, <laughs> may umiyak na na sticker. D, teacher formulating the rule. Ano sinabi dyan? Help daw students internalize classroom rules. To help them internalize, have them the sense of co-ownership. Have them the sense of co-ownership. What do you mean by that? Kapag kasi alam nila na sila yung gumagawa ng rules, 
hindi po nila babaliin yan. Alam nyo, kapag ka pinaghirapan natin yung mga bagay o ikaw mismo yung gumawa niyan, hindi hindi mo yan sisirain. Di ba? Example, yung lisensya mo. Magkakalisensya ka this December 6. Sisirain mo ba yung lisensya mo? Hindi dahil pinaghirapan mo yan. Ilang taon mo yung pinaghandaan. Dapat yan ay pagkaingatan mo. Sense of ownership. That is letter B. Students' participation in setting rules that is democratic policy that is referent power under learners' environment. Next item will be diversity of learners for sure. What do you mean by diversity of learners? Differentiated, varied, diversity. Meron bang sinasaadyan? Yes, very good. That's different tasks for every group. Next item. In the four phases of curriculum development, which process refers to the determining rate of achievement of learning outcomes? Again, sabihin ko, curriculum and planning. No? Curriculum and planning yung tanong. Do may number four na tayo. Designing, implementation, planning, evaluation. It is the sum or total of all learning experiences. Curriculum. Right? Uh, what are the major designs of a curriculum? Learner, bata. Subject, discipline. Problems, practicalities. Okay? Social situations, life, and core problems. Oh, that is for the designs. No? Napag-usapan natin, ano bang uh, determining rate natin sa rate of achievement ng mga... Uh, objective na ating ginawa. Evaluation. Very good. No, it's evaluation. Rate, evaluate. That's letter D. Dog. Very good. That's letter D. That's for curriculum and planning. Ano yung planning? Lesson planning. Ano yung lesson planning? As laya. Di ba? Kapag sinasabi natin pinakamalaga. Objectives yan. Ang objectives mo dapat nag-jive sa iyong um, evaluation, di ba? Kapag gumagawa ka ng exam, dapat ang objectives mo ang sinusunod. What about for the objectives? Ano yung parte ng mga objectives? That's A, B, C, D. The audience, the behavioral objectives, or the performance objectives. Malinaw, ang ibang term ng behavioral is performance objectives. Criterion or condition, sorry, condition, that's through varied activities, and then the degree of Except for that's the criterion. Pila ka porsyento? 80%. Kuha niyo po. So the correct answer is evaluation. Next item. When will parents find reporting of grades to their children meaningful? This is assessment and uh, reporting. Di ba? Assessment and reporting. So how do you report grades? You call them one by one or you call their parents. Do not announce it in class. Wrong practice of teachers when the teacher calls for the score of the child. Diba? Pedro, zero ma, mawawa ng bata. When you record scores, ask them to come close. Or when you announce scores, ask them to come close to tell them their scores and grades. Do not announce it in class because mapapahi ang bata. Matulfo ka. Goodbye, Lisetia. <laughs> diba? Pinagirapan mo yan. Okay, dahil sa panahon ngayon, napakahirap na po na magiging isang guro. Next, so what's the thing here? Feedback, okay? Explain grades and performance of the students. Oo. Para ma-oblige yung mga walang pakialam, di ba? Bakit ba mag explain ka sa performance ng bata? Para ipaalam yan sa mga walang pakialam na mga parents para ma-oblige silang pakinggan yung kailangan ng bata. Okay? Kailang, pangangailangan ng bata. At the best specific, di ba? So that is letter D. And this falls under domain number 5, assessment and reporting. Kita nyo class, lahat po ng board exam questions, naka-revolve lang yan sa ating PPST. Mm -hmm. Next item. Which of the following has higher importance than the rest as to the best practice of a professional teacher? 
A. Competency supported by continuing growth. B. Appearance as a teacher in dress and attire. Letter C. Loyalty to the school by years of service. Letter D. Regularity in class attendance. This is for what? Importance. That's is, is this something to do with uh, professional growth, no? Higher importance than the rest of the best practice of a professional teacher. That's competency supported by continuing growth, no? So professional growth and personal development. Tama? Next item. Several stakeholders influence the uh, curriculum, but which next to the learners are primarily important to the school curriculum implementation. What's next to learner is the teacher, okay? Okay. But the teacher is not on the choices. So what to answer? Parents. Di ba? Ano ang sabi ng mga parents? Uh, by the way, no, as elementary teachers, the hardest part of the job are the parents. I am honest about that. Di ba? So bakit yung parents yung problema? Hindi naman sila problema kapag nag-participate sila. But our point here is the parent says that it's our money, it's our child that goes to your school. Diba dalawa, ang aming anak at ang aming pera, inilagay namin dyan, kaya dapat mag-participate kami. That's letter. Oh, oh, oh. Shout out ko no sa Team Spy. Uy, sana, all spy. Hi, Oriel Buenaventura. Okay, so that is letter A. Next item. Oh, my child, my money goes to this school. For what response is a uh, continuing professional education or CPE installed for every professional teacher? A, past ideas and practices. B, monitoring of educational programs. C, new trends and reforms. D, review of academic achievement. May isa pang tanong sa board dito na ang 40-year na daw sa servisyo, ayaw na niyang mag-attend ng seminars. You're wrong. You have to attend because... Ang natutunan mo kahapon ay di na po parehas ngayon at mas lalong hindi na po parehas ay hinaharap. And learning is a continuous process. You stop learning when you are six feet below the ground. So therefore, you are obliged to do so. You are obliged to attend because then again, you are subject to improvement. That is letter C. Okay? Letter C. So again, class, always remember the uh, nature of the board examination and the techniques that I have taught you. Please master them. Always apply them in questions that you are encountering until such time that you will be able to answer them uh, uh, easily. No? At ease, na hindi na sumasabog yung utak, na hindi masyadong maraming energy yung nag-google, di ba? So, thank you so much. And God bless you. Go now on top of the board. Go now on top of the board. Okay. So as promised, no, I, I have um, told you about uh, to uh, I have told you uh, earlier that I will answer some confusions, no? So, ito na po, no? I will try to. Thank you so much po sa mga nagbibigay ng super sticker. Hi, Ma'am Sean. Kita, maraming salamat po sa 125. Sir, Sir Sean, sorry. Uh, is ni Hayan, H. Karim. Thank you so much po sa 37 pesos. Okay. Ayan, mabuhay ang taong bayan. <laughs> okay, pasan niyo po ang board examination ha. And then, go back here. If you want to lecture on my YouTube channel, I will allow you para tulungan din tong mga susunod, di ba? So, now, let's clarify, no? Highest pay for teachers, Brunei. Okay, and then, organ for respiration, lungs. Okay, those are two. And then another, yung uh, curriculum uh, evaluation and curriculum modification, you choose curriculum modification. Okay, so that's three na po ang ating uh, na-clarify. What about double jeopardy and uh, double taxation, social injustice, and social inequity? Okay, so as of the moment po, sa mga naaral ko lamang po ha, ganito yan. Pag sinasabi nating social injustice, nagtatapon po ang ibang lugar 
ng uh, basura dito sa poorer countries, di ba? That's social injustice. So wala na siya sa choices. Let's go to double jeopardy. Double jeopardy po, you are not allowed to be uh wait, na, na nabasa ko yun eh, pinost ko yun, no? Double jeopardy. Pag sinasabi natin double jeopardy, uh you are not what? You are not uh, allowed to be subjected, no, to uh, be accused of the same what? Of the same similar charges. Okay? So wala po siyang kinalaman sa taxation. ba? Diba? Again, uh, this prohibits anyone from being prosecuted twice for substantially uh, the same crime. So again, double jeopardy does not uh, or has uh, have uh, nothing to do with taxation. So double jeopardy is X. Now, it's either double taxation or social inequity. Now, based sa naaral ko at pinagtatanungan kong mga abogado, mm -hmm. kasi taxation is is a matter of lawyers, di ba? Kasi hindi natin masyadong um, uh, maiintindihan talaga itong taxation dahil this is one of uh, the complex subjects nga, di ba, na itinuturing sa ating um, mga, you know, mga abogado. So, <laughs> sige, so. Again, uh, based on the solicited answers that I have gathered, the answer is, uy, kinakabahan ako. <laughs> Actually, 60% it's social inequity. And 40% is double taxation. That is for now. I need to study more and more about it. Kuna talaga. Pero sa ngayon, sa pinagtatadungan kong abogado at sa pagbabasa ko, nakita ko po na uh, may probable uh, cost naman <laughs> na tinatawag or double taxation. Pero sa mga abogado talagang lisensyado na natanungan ko, ang sagot daw is social inequity. Pero naman po kasi sa tanong, hindi naman po sinasaad doon na uh, pinipilit ang mga private, I mean pinipilit ang mga parents na mag-enroll sa private school. So how can you say that social inequity yun? Di ba? Pero, mula yun sa mga abogado, eksperto sila sa batas. So, uh, 60% for social inequity. And then, you know, 40% for double taxation. That is for now. I will still study and study about it. And I will give you the definite answer in due time. Okay, at least I have given you such, you know, such uh, idea about it. Okay, based on uh, my thorough readings also. So, Papa Sobo, <laughs> kaya na ba talaga? Ayan, ito na ba ang huli? Kauli-huli ang board examination mo. Di ba? So ikaw na ba ay magiging isa sa mga pangarap mo? Ito na iba yung mga bagay na matagal mo nang hinihingi, matagal mo nang pinaghahandaan, napakatagal mo nang ipinagdar, napakatagal mo nang ipinagdar. happens? And will you be one of those people who will be shouting of joy because you passed the board exam on December 6th. Because you will have your license. If the answer is yes, sabihin mo ang pangalan mo na may LPT sa huli. Now! Ayun, napakagandang pakinggan, teachers. Pero mas maganda kapag tinutuo mo. Mas maganda kapag kukunin mo talaga yan. And I am one of those people who will shout because of joy, who will clap both my hands for the success that on October 2, ibigay mo congratulations, i-let go mo muna. Just focus on your best, give it your all, conquer the board exam because you are bigger than the board exam. You are better than what you think you 
are. Right? And you are that person who doesn't know your potentials, not unless you will pass this board exam. Because this board exam will match the you and the teaching profession. Maraming salamat po. Ingat kayo lagi. And still, Sir Melvin will go live next week. No? Hindi ko kayo papabayaan hanggang sa araw ng inyong board examination. Just continue with the drills. Master it hanggang hindi kayo nag-iisip sa inyong mga isasagot hanggang sa hindi na kayo nag-iisip. That's the moment that you have mastered. Stop watching now. Okay? So, review this after this is uploaded. Excuse me. Bye-bye. God bless you. Ingat kayo lagi. Mabuhay ang mga LBT this December 6. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. Ingat kayo lagi. Thank you so much po sa continued support ninyo. Now, hindi kayo magsasawa and you will be back here telling me that you passed the board exam. You'll be back here offering your service. Bye-bye. <laughs> Upload to me na to.